So the top left that's labeled the movie, that's the movie poster that the actual studio released, I believe, earlier this week. It's kind of paying homage to the thing next to it, which is the musical poster, right? You know, where the, the white witch is telling the wicked witch, whispering in her ear kind of thing. Um, it's 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 a, The musical is an iconic uh, poster, like for yeah. sure, uh, super iconic. Um, then somebody went and did a fan edit of kind of going more one to one um with the poster. Um mm-hmm. they they found uh the actress who's playing the Wicked Witch. Uh what was her name? Cynthia uh Ervo. Ervo. Yeah, Evro Evro. Evro. Um mm-hmm. yeah, you know, they, they got her, you know, um and and edited her, you know, with a little smirk and stuff like that with the lipstick. Mm-hmm. So we got this that came out. It's a fan edit. It's not the studio. It's the fan edit. He has come out and has some opinions about it. So she was quoted in saying, uh, this is the wildest, most offensive thing I've ever seen equal to that awful AI of ice of us fighting equal to people posing. The question is your genital. Mm, yeah. Um, right. And uh, she goes, none of this is funny. None of this is cute. It degrades me. It degrades us. And she had talked about the the poster. The original poster is an illustration. I'm a real life human being um, who choose to look right down the barrel of the camera to you, the viewer, because without words, we communicate with our eyes. Our poster is homage, not uh, imitation. To edit my face and hide my eyes is to erase me. And that is deeply hurtful. So. What? I skipped a few, a few parts. Yeah, yeah. So, so she f- is saying by a fan making this that it is offensive to her because they are erasing her and hiding her, and and it is hurtful to her and disrespectful to her. What? Yeah. So we have seen. When actual studios, Disney, does this, they did it with Star Wars with John Boyega. Mm-hmm. Literally, kind of took him out of the poster and threw him, and and the actual studio poster, right? We saw that happen. We saw it with Black Panther, you know, um, Chadwick Boseman. Anything in China, and yeah, in China, you know, yep. but that is from the studio. That is from the studio. It's not. It wasn't a fan made film, or fan fan edit. Just what what I I just want to know what you guys think because we always talk about like representation and and you know being able to to feel seen. I don't know. It's it's hard for me um, because I I come in knowing that I'm not a black woman, mm-hmm. so I'm very careful with with what I'm going to say because I'm not there. I'm not that person. I'm not been told by yo. Know, executives that you know i'm too dark to play a character or i'm not pretty enough to do this and that's not even playing on what they're actually doing in this movie with the whole point of wicked and and stuff like that so so i'm very careful with what i'm saying about that now i don't necessarily understand it but she could say you're taking away you know my blackness you're taking away the idea that i'm a black woman you're you're hiding you know, my cheekbones, my eyes that are def- definitely black and making me into a caricature of myself. So if that is what she's saying, I have to be say, OK, you know, because that's how you feel about it. And, and that's how you're thinking. It, it, you can be seen as it's that you're trying to be a, a, a caricature of a, who you are. Um, it's just that wasn't the first thing I thought of. Yeah, but, I'd agree but it with might that also too. be. But it also might be just me not being in that position. Mm-hmm. I'd agree with that too. If she was not green, it doesn't really matter. You're still a black woman. Not here. Yeah, she still is. I mean, she's green. She's always black. But it adds more fuel to the fire with what she was in trouble with some years ago. Uh, I forgot the exact statement she said, 
but she had said something because she's British. Talking because we were talking about British people, you know, earlier. Um, uh, she is British and she said something along the line of the uh the ghetto African American accent or something like that. So she was like kind of talking down to uh uh black Americans, you know, in 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 some kind of sense. I don't remember the full detail about it. I was trying to look for it and you got a lot of articles talking about it, but I was looking for the actual quote. Um but you know, she said no. That's not what she meant. Uh, you know, she goes, "I wouldn't do that. That's not what I was going for." Because she played Harriet Tubman in in the the, the Harriet movie. Yeah, yeah, years she sure did. Yeah, and she was so, in um, what else was she? She was in Widows, I think. It was pretty yeah. good in that one. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, going back to what something what Brian said was like, "Hey, we can't get an American black woman to play this iconic." American black woman, you know, who's not a character who's a real life person. And instead, we got a British person, you know, mm-hmm. to play this American kind of like, like icon and legend almost, you know. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's yeah. at the end but, of the day, being black is still a problem, you know, that, that you, you deal with racism all the time. So, it mm-hmm. also makes you sometimes a, a little bit more sensitive to the situation, to, to mm-hmm. sensitive to certain subjects. Because the things that you've already dealt with, um, I just don't. I I I didn't feel this way, so it's hard for me to say anything positive or negative. But I can, if you feel that way and you have good reason, I I can't. You know, if you have a good backing, I'm not going to say anything negative about you. That is not what what I see when I first thought about it. That's not what I thought. That is not anywhere near my opinion of what 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 happened with this poster. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but if it has based on something else that's going on, you know, is it based on some other other mail that she's been getting and hate that she gets? I don't have the full story for me to say yay or nay for nothing for any of this. Mm. That and that's kind of I'm just gonna leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just thought it was interesting because it was like it was a fan edit, right? So it wasn't the studio that did it. Um, you know, because we've seen you know studios do it before, um, and I I don't know for for me it's like you're kind of attacking the people you want, that are excited to go see your film, you know it's like, you know like they they got another photo of her smiling and they edited it and, and you know, you know it's not like they got somebody else completely different you know it's still a picture of her you yeah know, they so. just. Yeah. Tweaked it to to make it look like the the poster that's been the, around the for year and, for years and years. Yeah. I didn't so, see the harm in you yeah. know. If, I mean, they also edited uh, Ariana Grande. You know, they moved her hand up so it covered up more of her her face, so, like you can't yeah. see her nose and stuff like that. So it's not like all they did was touch Cynthia. They also touched, you know, Ari. Yeah, a- edited it, Ariana. Just touched, you know, now yeah, now now some her. now some of the comments that Cynthia Erivo is getting do. Um, you know, I think do justify outrage, like the one about her private area. That no, that's yeah. that's that's a messed up thing to say. That's but that's, that's pretty... the point. Though, is with all the stuff that's going on, sometimes you take sense, get more sensitive to certain things. Mm-hmm. So until you're really in that situation, until you really understand what she's going through, it's hard for me to say you're crazy. Yeah, you know, I, yeah. I don't. You're probably it's probably based in fact. It's probably based on something that you're dealing with. So it's hard, you know, like it's just a difficult situation. And I don't want to discount what she's saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though that's yeah. not what I see. Yeah. You know, but yeah, I mean, like that is something to think about is like, is, is this the final straw? You know, that kind of, you know, all the you hate know, that, mail that you're getting, yeah. all the hate letters that you're getting, all the, the the crazy things you hear online, the stuff that you hear on daily basis, you know, on on what what, what people are saying. It's just you don't know, so mm-hmm. I can't just jump to that point. Like say, oh no, do you 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 taking it too far? Who am I to tell you take you taking it too far? Who am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you you have your your feelings that I think everyone's entitled to their uh their feelings and their emotions and their opinions you know for sure so you know i can't say 
you know, like, you know, she's wrong for saying it. I, but like Brian said, I don't, that's not what I got. You know, I got more of a fan recreating the musical poster with the current actors. You know, I don't Mm -hmm. think from what I understand, it's not from a place of hate. You know, it's a, it's from a place of, of, of love of the musical and anticipation of the movie, you know? Mm -hmm. So was what maybe she was she going a little bit overboard maybe you know but again like you know she started off with it being them you know doing ai stuff to to ariana and cynthia fighting which i i haven't seen that um you know asking inappropriate questions you know um you know so you know and again you know it's it's a, a woman lead and a black woman lead so you know yeah, you're you're. It's, it's Hollywood. She's gonna get hate, especially in the in the climate we 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 live in now. Um, you know, but like, it's like sports. You always see the retaliation. You know, mm-hmm. so she could have gotten a hundred emails about her green genitals and this or that and all or these saying, AI things. Ugly to play at the Wicked Witch. Yeah. Like, why would we make you black? We, why would they do this thing? All those things we don't. We're not privy to that. So like, we don't know. If this is the the last straw, so that's why I'm I'm not gonna sit there and and condemn her or anything that she's saying because it could be more to the situation and most likely is it a lot of times it is. Yeah, it's it's just it's a it's a I don't say a weird subject, but it's it's definitely you know one that that first glance your look is like you're overreacting, but then you know maybe maybe sit back and look at it a little bit. So, but yeah, you know, we want to hear from you guys, what you guys think about this, you know, is she overreacting? Do you kind of agree with Brian? Do you have your own uh, thought and idea about, uh, you know, how, how she uh, handled this? Leave a comment. Let us know what you guys think. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, come and join us every Monday and Thursday where we talk movies, uh, movies, TV show news like this, other kind of nerdy stuff. So definitely appreciate everyone coming in and hanging out with us. And if you are watching live, stick around because we are in a, get into some of the comments.